Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy New Year! Yay, it's a new year, it's a new decade. Welcome back, and to everyone new, hello and welcome. So, <laughs> you're looking at... <laughs> I always say you're looking at a hot mess on the bed, but you're looking at two absolutely stinking adorable babies with a little bit of an odd scene here. <laughs> And I'll explain why. So let me show you who you're looking at today. Um, this is Oscar. To those of you that have, don't know who Oscar is, um, he is my full-bodied silicone um, baby boy. He's the Dwayne, num Dwayne Awake number two by Claire Taylor Dolls. Oscar is wearing his very special gift from Auntie Katie and Cousin Charlie. This is Cousin Charlie here. Isn't this so adorable? Look how absolutely adorable Oscar looks. So he's up here. I was changing babies. I was getting ready to get Oscar out of this because we did our, our New Year's photos. And I want to put this, you know, special outfit away. And then Stellan is here, <laughs> just like plopped on the bed up here <laughs> because I was in the middle of changing him for a photo shoot. He was wearing actually, oh, actually it's up here. He was wearing um his beautiful set from Auntie Maribet that um he just got. Uh, that she crocheted for him, hand crocheted, absolutely gorgeous. There are pictures up on my Instagram, lots of pictures of Stellan in this beautiful outfit. My Instagram is um, at Pixie Mommies underscore Reborns, and I always write that in the description of my videos because that's where I share all my photos. And he had on his adorable little um jockety bodysuit white with the Peter Pan collar on it and I think it has a little bit of embroidery on the front which looked so beautiful with that set but I he was done with, he was done I was done with the photos you know wanted to get him out into something um, more casual and do a photo shoot with I've been dying to with these precious little um uh, cable knit wall socks from Auntie Ness and we were doing this and I had um this is this is also from Auntie Ines this little puppy uh rattle and passy clip so I was pairing it up with a, a loved baby and the little socks and gonna do a photo shoot well I plopped Stellan down here to unsnap the this because the jockety unsnaps all the way down the back this was a gift as well uh from annie last year it came with uh came with something else i think for oscar um but anyways so i plopped him down to take the snaps off and <laughs> look at that <laughs> should i say no more i was just like oh my gosh he's my heart almost jumped out. Like, look at how precious with the little socks and the little, like, butt and his precious little sleeping face there. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my New Year's video now and let you look at the babies just like this. I was going to fully change um, Stellan and fully change Oscar. <laughs> um, And then, and then film the video but the scene was just too cute not to share as is sometimes you know just going in the moment is just it just works right Oscar you're not looking so worried no not from this angle say hi aunties and uncles this was so perfect for New Year's. So how is everybody? How did everybody ring in their New Year's, their 2020? Um, we stayed home, quiet, cozy, had some really good food. Um, we only had one chickadee home. And so I was just kind of keeping tabs or keeping track of my 
other three ch chickadees children, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, accounting for them at, at midnight and <laughs> all that. And we watched the ball drop and that's it. We just had fun. It was loud here because, you know, it's always kind of loud. Like there was um, there was some beautiful fireworks and just stepping outside, there was some beautiful fireworks. And then the kids or people light off like the blockbusters and the firecrackers and stuff and just making a whole lot of hooting and hollering fun noise. Um, and there was a lot of it this year because we're in a new century, you know, it's a turn. So, you know, I think it was an exciting new year for a lot of people and, you know, the young folk that you know, go out and party and do all that. And yeah, I was just here relaxing and enjoying my family and some good food. And for me, that was just the perfect way to ring in the new year. I even took some photos and posted some photos of the babies, just had kind of a fun, fun day and fun night. So you know, we'll be back at it soon. The kids will be back in school. You know, right now is like a weird time because it's almost like there's no schedule. It's not summer, so we're not preparing into our summer stuff. Um, we don't go on vacation, um, you know, but we are obviously on vacation at home. So here is my my scene here well I think I was going to change the call put a blanket over this to just a, a beige or a brown but that will be Stellan's next photo shoot with his little with his little socks I'll probably do it after the this video um so I'm going to be bringing some new things to you this year and a lot more kind of tips and how to and things of that nature um you know, uh, you all have responded to me on previous videos um, with uh, like tips and things like that. Uh, you know, such a nice response and it's very helpful to everyone. Um, so I try to listen to you all um, and, you know, do some fun stuff that that's helpful to everyone. Um, so one of those things in there is going to be um, photography tips on photographing your reborn in silicone dolls. Um, it's not going to be pho like photography tips as far as professional photography and like on that level because I'm not a professional. So I would recommend like... Uh, watching on YouTube some actual professional photography um, because you get like good tips there as far as your photography. But I'm talking about more of um, with the babies, um, positioning, props, lighting, you know, um, certain babies looking good in certain uh, in certain things, in certain positions. Well, I'll get into it, you know, I'll get into it in a video. Um, but I thought I would give some helpful hints and it's actually easier than you think, um, to produce, you know, really nice quality photos of your dolls. Um, you can do it very simply where you're not having to spend a lot of money on uh, clothing and accessories and, you know, props and things like that. Uh, you know, a lot of times you can find just things around your home and you'd be really surprised, you know, what you can do. I actually have more tips for you guys than what I do in my own photos, only because I just simply don't have the time uh, to get myself there and to do and to actually f play out all my ideas in the in the photographs. But I'm going to share them all with you. And I thought that may be fun. I'll see some of you all uh, using the things that I'm going to talk about, uh, which will be fun. I have enjoyed so much seeing everyone's Instagram New Year's photos of their babies. I cannot even tell you. I feel like I have seen over the past two days the best photos I have since I've been in this hobby of all of your old babies. 
No, I don't know. You know, I mean, some of your babies I've gotten to know and love over on Instagram. Uh, so it's just cute seeing them all dressed for New Year's and stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like everyone took such beautiful um, New Year's photos. Instagram was just full of, you know, a whole lot of joy and stuff. And YouTube as well, the few of you that, you know, have done uh, videos, I know everyone's not as active making videos at the holidays, um, you know, which of course, we're a lot of us are just, you know, with family and doing other stuff. But, um, you know, many of us kind of squeeze them in here and there, which is what I'm doing. I know this is still a off time. <laughs> But I definitely wanted to come and wish you all a Happy New Year. Um, I couldn't not let you all see this, you know, scene. I, just Stellan plopped here. You know, this isn't what I was having him dressed in for the photos or what I'm going to leave him in. Because I, the one of the reasons why I've always loved these little socks Um I've always admired Ness having these little socks um, is because it's just something simple and cozy um, as far as like to put just a long sleeve or short sleeve um, uh, bodysuit and then just have the socks that quote would keep a baby's legs warm. So it's just something to me, very realistic. And the length of them, like, they're not going to kick them off. A, a real baby would not necessarily kick these off too easy, um, especially if they're just laying sleeping. I could definitely see a baby having these on and having you be able to, you know what, you just changed a diaper and don't want to struggle to get the pants back on and you just have the long socks like to me it's just something realistic that you would be actually having a real baby in um which is what I like to go for when I dress my babies so um I wanted to you know complete changing Stellan, do his photo shoot and just take him downstairs as is to snuggle him. Um, he's usually set up sitting in the car seat downstairs when I take him down. Um, I'll be moving totally down. I'm in the mid midst of that. I know I've been saying that for like a year, but it's actually going along now. Um, so, you know, that's getting done. It's, it's more time consuming, um, planning everything out than I thought. I mean, we, we, Gabe's TV has been sitting in the corner. We have the mount for the wall, you know, like everything's here, um, to get set up and done. Um, but although I never set this room up as a nursery, it's just a spare room that I just was using to, film and photograph and keep some of my baby's things. I mean, I have storage bins sitting here. It's not set up as a room. It never was. Um, but it's, I've inherited, you know, I've just been, like I said, I, I, you know, slowly but surely all the baby stuff has been in here that I've been accumulating. Um, and so now I don't just want to haphazardly put it downstairs. I don't want to put Tote, storage totes like way up in closets where I can't they're not easily accessible um uh, you know I'm yeah I'm trying to do a lot of like like organizing and figuring in my head how things are going to work so that I have some usable well I do have some usable space in in the um living room that I'm gonna have you know some of the baby's things I just have to I just have to think more of really how I'm gonna set it up you all know I'm not really good at like design like putting things together designing things whatever um so I have to you know think about that as well as I'm still at the stage of where I'm going through you know things in you know my room in the closet and all of that to try to kind of make as much space as I can or, or move things back that are, you know, that I don't need to get too often so that I can put things that I do need to get too often 
as far as the baby's things. This is a lot of extra stuff now at this point. Um, I know I've heard many of you talking about getting to these points where you're just like overflowing with baby stuff. And at this point, I have a couple bins of stuff that I either have to make the time to get up and sell on the page that I made, my the Instagram, you know, secondhand, you know, selling page, um, because a lot of it is really nice sellable stuff. And, it, you know, I, but I have to, would have to take the time to, to really do that. And I know that takes quite a lot of time to get the pictures up, to get the posts, to, you know, take the orders, then to get them shipped out and all that. If I can manage to squeeze that in, I'd like to get up some of those clothes. Um, and that'll give me some room. But I'm looking at just the stuff that um, that I'm not ready to let go of. The stuff that I pretty much just acquired like this year. <laughs> it's still a lot of baby stuff. I am actually, you know, I, I've said this often, I really admire those of you that can have just one baby or just a couple babies and stop themselves at that. Um, you know, I admire that way of collecting. Uh, you can just, you know, focus on a couple babies and their clothes and their things, um, and I, I love the thought of that. I really do. Um, but I have not been able to get myself there as a collector. Um, you know, I just can't, can't help myself. And then some babies are, you know, really hard to part with. So now I've kind of, you know, got a bunch here where I'm like, there's nobody that, you know, is, would be easy to part with, put it that way. So I am still devising my own system of my collection um, as far as am I going to rotate babies? Am I going to, when I keep babies, am I going to put babies on shelves out for display or rotate them in and out of, I, you know, I have my airtight, nice big hope chest downstairs. I really haven't come to that decision yet because I like the idea of them being protected in the hope chest um, when I'm not playing with them um, because, you know, it, it keeps the sunlight off of them, any dust, you know, and also if they're on shelves, then every day I got to make sure that I'm dusting and that nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it creates a lot of extra work. Um, so I have decisions to make uh, for 2020. I haven't gotten myself there yet, but I've definitely gotten to myself to, I really know uh, what, uh, what I'm headed for with my channel this year. Um, definitely a lot of fun, um, really sticking to the dolls. I am me, uh, you know, I've been me since the beginning, since I, obviously, since I, you know, came on to, to YouTube and, you know, with the dolls, so, um, you all know I can be strongly opinionated and that I don't shy away from, um, you know, some of those touchy, controversial, you know, topics, uh, so I'll always, um, cover them, um, you know, the only thing that's just cleared out is that's an on a general term, you know, on, you know, general stuff um, that's going on in the community, like, for instance, like the FTC thing, what, you know, like stuff like that, that goes on, uh, you know, how, you know, how we all, you know, um, work as uh youtubers as doll collectors you know some of the emotional stuff that that you know we go through all in um general terms and um you know i want to keep it that way um i prefer it that way uh it's just for me it just it it just works i i want to be able to you know enjoy my hobby and sharing on youtube and um, I know, uh, you know, from all of you that all of you that are, you know, truly here, um, 
to enjoy the dolls, um, the hobby, your the love, the the magic, the connection that we feel, the the art, the all like all of that, you know, stuff put together, and we enjoy watching each other change, role play, chat about our lives, you know, you know, all that good stuff, share our tips, share our experience. Um, and it may not be the most exciting thing in the world, especially to people that don't feel this way about collecting the dolls. Um, that, you know, they're just not going to get it. It's going to bore them or they're, they think we're crazy or whatever it is. Um, but for doll collectors, it's <laughs> it's what we want. It's fun. We want to see each other's dolls. We want to hear about the people that we enjoy watching uh, and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, it's what's wanted in the, in the hobby on a whole. And, you know, it's, again, it's definitely makes me happy. All right. So look at this guy. One more look. And sweet Stellan. I do a lot of my own personal uh, stuff this time of year where I'm kind of off between the stretch of Christmas and, you know, following New Year's um, that the kids are off. It's just like some, f some physical downtime for me. And I do my emotional uh, stuff and I reflect on on the past year and do my inventory and you know all of all of those things um so it's I don't know I it it each year it's nice it feels like it is a new beginning and um life is our our biggest teacher uh you know we we learn that from when we're kids you know um, we can listen to other people or read books or, you know, watch it on TV or whatever and hear things and get it. But, um, you know, our experiences in life are the, are, is what, you know, is our biggest teacher and has the most, you know, impact and resonates with most people um, the most. So I, I I always feel as a person um it's good to look back uh you know on the on the past year uh look at mistakes what you can fix what you had control over what you didn't have control over what you want to make better what you want to make different and then you look forward and anything that you feel was you know, could have been done better or you were in, um, you know, felt like you were in, say, not such a good place, um, you think about where will I be next year at that time? If you don't want to be in that same place with whatever, you know, thing you're thinking of, then you need to change something because what you were doing wasn't working. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It makes sense to me. Uh, it may make sense to some of you, but, you know, it does make sense to me and it helps me grow as a person. We are learning till the day we die. And um, for me, personal growth is important wherever I am. You know what I mean? Like, whether it's my hobby, whether it's, you know, my personal life, my, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Personal growth is personal growth. And, um, you know, we all want to have that and a little bit of change and move forward in a, in a positive direction. You know, none of us are perfect human beings. If someone says they are, then they're either lying or they're in complete and total denial, right? <laughs> show me your paws how many of you can say I'm definitely not perfect so yeah that's just you know where I'm at at this time of the year in in life I'm just looking at all of that stuff in in life on a whole um because I like to shed the past year and move on to the the next so let me know in the comments 
what do you all do to shed the previous year, uh, you know, ring in the new year, and what do you look forward to in your in your new year? I'm not talking about like resolutions. Um, just talking about you know what do you look forward as your personal uh, growth uh, to? Just an interesting question for everybody. All right, and that is about it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, one of my little goals is I need to order um, a timer uh, and set it for 15 minutes. I want to try to make many videos this year. 15 minutes or under. Um, I know that is a um, not a strong suit of mine, put it that way. I always seem to run to write to like the 30 something minutes where my phone will cut me off. It'll cut off the video. Um, so I'm thinking, well, if I can, now I can do that and realize when that time is coming up, I should do well if I put an actual timer on and know that that's going to go off in the camera, you know, and I want to get done before it does. I think that's the only thing that's going to keep me from yammering on because you all know I can do that. And it can get, you know, I want to put out a lot of videos this year. I want to try to get on daily or almost daily. And I realize that, you know, a 30 minute video every day is, you know, a ton. And I want to, you know, especially when you're doing like role play and things, just fun little things. So anyway, one of my goals, let's see how long it takes takes me to start achieving that or if I get to that goal let's hope I do fingers crossed if you like what you see make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and so you receive invites to my live streams all right everyone happy new year till next time god bless